Ryder Hedgedahl is on Vancouver Island after putting Canadian cycling on the map at the Tour de France. Now, there's not a lot of r and scheduled in Ryder's return. He's busy training for yet another race. And while he's home, he's working on growing the sport of cycling among the island's youth. Why did you choose cycling? Uh -huh. I don't know. I think cycling chose me. It's a 150-kilometer ride down memory lane for Canada's top cyclist. This is where our, you know, I rode when I never had a, a number or a, or a paycheck or anything. Ryder Hedgedahl's hometown is his training ground this week as he prepares for this month's Grand Prix Cyclist Pro Tour in Quebec. As soon as that was on the calendar that there was you know, one day races, uh, one day style, you know, I think I've proven myself in the stage racing, but also in the one day format. I'm proud that, you know, Canada was uh, able to bring those uh, over here. This time last year, Ryder was whipping through the countryside in Spain. There he made cycling history, becoming the first Canadian to win a stage at the Spanish Vuelta. It says a lot, uh, you know, these races are important to me to, uh, to, you know, not ride the, the Vuelta and really take a crack on, on Canadian soil and the Pro Tour, so uh, that's really all I'm focused on right now. While Ryder focuses on the road ahead, Canadian cycling enthusiasts can't stop talking about Ryder's run at the Tour de France. A seventh overall finish, the best by a Canadian in more than 22 years, and of course, stage three, that exhilarating sprint to the finish line. I think stage three, it was, you know, I knew to be out in front. Uh, was going to be good. But that was the moment of the race on the on the pave. Uh, I had to go. That was the time to go, and no one else was strong enough. So you know, it's just me out there. But after this year's Tour de France, they'll be letting me go up the road and, and break uh, like that. Riders' days of flying under the radar are far behind him. From his continuously buzzing BlackBerry. Oh, yeah. To this TV timeout we took to accommodate a live radio interview on the Atlantic coast. Uninterrupted training rides are a luxury, but Ryder is enjoying his rock star cycling status. For sure, you know, I've yet to, uh, to ride uh, in town here without someone yelling at me, so, uh, you know, that, that's fun. I mean, it's hard to, hard to miss me, you know, in this, in this kit, that's for sure. On Saturday night between 6 and 8, the public is invited to shake hands with Ryder Hedgedahl and help celebrate that fourth place finish. At the third stage of the Tour de France, Ryder will be autographing T-shirts with 50% of the proceeds going to launch a new initiative to help support cyclists on the island. Real men ride bikes is our, is our slogan, and it's really just giving, getting kids out there and giving them more opportunity and um, proof uh, you can start as a little kid and, and ride all day every day and <laughs> get to the Tour de France.